approaching Lucinda Annie Glennon. My name is Marcus Cox. I am the operations manager here at Husky Line. Violi has been the parent company of us. Um, and honestly, I don't think that a lot of people even realize that Husky Line is owned by such a large company, an international company. It's based out of France. My name is Al Davis. I'm the general manager for Husky Line. I have been with Husky Line since July 1st, 1990. Students with disabilities on the transit system, the things that we do is make the ADA announcements and try to accommodate as much as we can without intruding. Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. That's when everything really kind of got put into place. Equality and fairness needs to be, as a whole, we have now do the AD announcements. We don't have to announce every stop, which I think a lot of people kind of thought we had to do, but we have to announce major intersections, points of interest, government buildings, things like that, that anyone would need to be aware of. I'm Patty Kupchak. I'm a graduate student here at NIU in the Vision Program, studying to be a rehabilitative teacher. As far as the ADA stuff, I didn't start riding Husky Bus until last week. Um, after they had started the announcing the routes and so far my experience has been okay. Um, the only issue has been that they're not very loud when they announce them so they're not always talking into the microphone. You kind of hear muffled sounds and you're like okay well hopefully that's not where I needed to get off the bus. Um, but as far as like getting on and off the bus people are really good about asking you know where do you need to go and where would you like to get off. I haven't had any issues with not being able to get off the bus at the proper stop or anything. Husky Line buses like most mass transit buses they have a way of accommodating passengers who have various disabilities like who are in a wheelchair, who are visually impaired, or who are on crutches. Um, our buses can kneel which means I can lower the bus about six or eight inches lower to the ground so if anybody has crutches or uh, needs to get on from a curb and they can't step up high enough, um, it makes it easier for them to step on the bus. Okay. So now the bus is lowered, passenger steps on, and then once I step back on, I can uh, raise the bus again. I've taken for granted maybe some of the things about life that other people never have experienced but have dealt with just as well, you know. Passengers that are visually impaired that I see walking around campus um, that, you know, I can barely walk through my apartment in the dark, um, let alone trying to walk from one end of campus to the other with no assistance other than, you know, a cane. And uh, I think that says a lot about the person and I think that it's, you know, it's impressive. It's impressive to me and to them. It's just normal day, every day routine. The ADA thing, as far as announcing routes and stuff, it doesn't just help us, it helps everyone. Especially if you're not paying attention or you don't know where you're going. You know, everybody's new at some point. It just, it's helpful all the way around. <laughs>